You saved me. Why? Oh, monkey. Well, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Last Wars Superstitions. Where I am once again ripping off a lot of flyer. I'm doing a Taki Tastings. Now, the difference is, I really haven't had Takis. I have had Takis once. Once ever as a sleepover, I had one. I didn't want it. So I decided I might as well give them a fair shot. I also grabbed some other stuff, I'll explain why they're here. Uh, yeah. Smash cut to let I have them all in cups because I'm not, unlike Mark, I'm not feeling cuppy bags open to show you all of them laid out. Um, because, very simply, I'm gonna have to reseal these bags. Because I don't think we'll be able to keep them all. First, I already had a lot of meal. Second, I shouldn't. Too much of my channel is put already. I need to grab the bag and see what it looks like. So. Okay, uh, quick side note. It was very sad. If you saw these two Fuego bags, I guess I didn't explain that there's an edged top and a soft top. And if you did see one of the extra strings is smaller, I just opened them up. It's not just that they look incredibly similar, which I was hoping they wouldn't. So there's a control issue there. But also, um, they have the same amount of contents, in spite of the fact that one bag is almost half the size of the other. It's still, both bags have about the same amount of talking, and it's weird. I don't necessarily like it, but. Or at least it means it's left after. Uh, I'm gonna fill the rest of the cups before we come back, probably. Okay, I know, once again, we didn't proceed all down, and this is where the video is gonna take a little bit of a divergence. So, originally this was supposed to be Takis, but I found that Takis are kinda hard to come by in my neck of the woods, so I grabbed Doritos, the Dynamita, which are clearly their knockoff Takis. There will be a mystery thing at the end, so stay tuned. I have something very interesting, very odd, I found it, it was very neat to me, and I'm going to have to try it on the channel. But, there are these. You can tell if one of these is not like the other. I'm going to judge the powder level for this moment because this part is for specifically Takis. And if you look at them, this has not a lot of powder. This is really bad. Like, I can see the yellow on the chip. So the blue is definitely the saddest. This is definitely less than this. And these two are pretty close. So the top, the, the bigger flat edged Taki bag appears to have more powder than the, the Dorito knockoff bag, like Dorito brand knockoff talking bag. So, this is a deeper red, but I can't tell if it's more powder or if it's just because it's a different powder, period. But, it's not confirmed taste. Uh, I am going to give these honey cream puffs because this used to be my favorite. They're made by hers. And I've just been very nostalgic for them. I didn't know another video for them, so I wanted them so I got them. So basically, these I've never had before, but Mark was nostalgia. These I've had before, and I'm nostalgic, but Mark hasn't had them. If I ever get big enough, I want Mark to try his bird chips, but now, obviously. Smell just like hard work. And if you can't tell, these are also, these are spicy. They can also get by hers. They're also cheese pots with a flavor because everything else was spicy. Uh, I grabbed it. And we're back. Uh, so here's our little lineup. We have Jagged Top Takis, Flat Top Takis, Blue Heat Takis, Doritos Dynamita. These are one category, they're all competing directly against each other. Hers Honey Cheese Cheese Puffs, which I have nostalgia for, so I'm gonna try and try again, see if it brings it back to good old days. And hers Buffalo Blue Cheese Cheese Puffs. I don't know how they'll compare to these, or how they'll compare to any of these. I don't know how much, so I don't know how these are gonna compare to each other, or if I'm gonna even put these in the same category as any of these, or if I'm gonna like them, I don't know. I'm going to rank general taste, but then I'm also gonna like specifically rank the Takis, and these don't have anything in their meat, so. Mm -hmm. I might eat the Hot Cheetos, but I realize that I have more than enough, and with the special thing at the end. So, if there's, I might have an outro where I just try the Hot Cheetos straight out of the bag. They ain't getting this play trick. Right? Got my palate cleanser here. Let's go. First Taki up. 
very powdery. Which is very good according to our fire. There's a good kick and a lot of lime. Probably though the chip itself tastes burnt. Which is not pleasant. Overall, I rank it an okay. I'm not gonna be running back to these, and I'm also not gonna be out. Uh, then again, I'm not gonna be like, oh, Taki is good at you. So, you know. tech update, I am still using a wireless headphone as my microphone, so I hopefully can sound decent because I've been being told recently that maybe my eyes are picking up worse than they were originally. Let's try it. So, it's still a Taki, normal Taki, Fuego, but different factory because it's a different bag. A lot more lime. I still don't care for it. It actually gave me chills. Yeah, it's not great. Not good. Not not great. But yeah, I don't know if this is just because I don't like cockies, but I am ranking those fairly low. To the chip itself tastes burnt. I can see that this one isn't burnt, which means if it tastes burnt, it's got chip quality. Maybe it's because it's devoid of power, but it's lighter in almost every sense. The chip doesn't taste Taste more corn. I tasted no corn on these. I taste corn. It's lighter. It doesn't burn at all. And there's no whiny sting whatsoever. Very corny. Very fibery. And almost devoid of flavor. Not a great run for the Taki so far. As I said, never tried them before. I'm trying to mark my feet like. These are Dorito Dynamite. Now those, these three look fine. They look good. These two tasted burnt. I can see that this one has the toasting on the bottom. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom and enhance that that you can actually see, but you can actually see little lines of toasting on the bottom. Okay, this is committed harder into the lime. Like these ones, I tasted the spice and the lime together and I got that citrus sting, but not actually a lime taste. At least I'm actually getting a lime taste, which is interesting. Uh, as we're coming to an end of the Takis base section, most of these four chips, um, I have to say, I don't like Takis. Sorry, Mark. I just apparently don't like them. They're not good, and you can hate me for saying this, but I am not a fan. Now to the nostalgia. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yep. Just like I remember. Doesn't taste great at first, but that aftertaste, like when you actually get the honey and cheese together, is actually pretty good. It actually satiates the burn. <clears throat> Except for where it aggravates it. <coughs> this was a very odd video. Taking a turn for the even weirder. Buffalo root cheese. Relative to all these, this is not spicy at all. Now, ranking for this portion. Nostalgia takes the day. And also just the fact that I like it. Between the four of these, I think I like the Doritos the most. Then blue. Flat top Takis. And then jagged top Takis. And these ones weren't good. They weren't. Spicy, they were interesting, they were flavorful, they weren't nostalgic, they just, I wish I wouldn't have bought them. But they were only a dollar at your local dollar store, so, yeah. Now on to the surprise. I'm going to just spack. This is going to come out of my plate. So, dear me. Taki Costino's. This is interesting. This is why I threw my fedora is because I'm mockery Italian. And it's definitely the toffee flavoring I don't like. I really don't like that. This is good. I don't care for it. If I put it on my ranking chart, I'd rank it here. Really don't care for it. I still like it more than the Doritos. Well, it's because it reminds me of pizza rolls. So I'm sorry if I offended potato salad hockey lovers, especially Marky, but I hair if you would see this video, but I thought it was Una. Censor me. It was esque content. And so I did it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, there will be some stuff coming soon, uh, some other news to the new people, there will be a new episode of Pokemon, uh, it'll be coming next week, so just hold tight, this was this week's video, thank you very much, thank you everyone so much for watching, uh, smash the potato like salad, if you enjoyed, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of content, but that means sensory again. Style content.
Um, yeah. Bye-bye.